Welcome and hello everyone. It's Miss Judy and in today's class we're going to take a look at the number eight and this time we're going to be using some pairs. We have eight pairs to come up with the different numbers that make up the number eight. And when you're doing number bonds, you know you can always start with the number zero. So we're going to start with the number zero and then the number. In this case, it's the number eight. So our first part would be an zero and an eight. The zero is on the left side, the eight is on the right side. Those to combine together to give us the number eight. Now let's go back to the pairs and let's count. We have one pair, so we're gonna, I'm gonna put down the number one. That's gonna go on one side. And now how many pairs do I have left? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I have seven pairs remaining. So the other part will be a seven. So a one and a seven, so the one goes left, seven goes on the right side. These two parts give us the number eight. We have a one and we have a seven and it gives us the whole, which is the number eight. Let's count some more pairs. One and two. Okay, so that'll be our second one. Let's go to two. Now how many pairs are remaining? Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we had six pairs remaining. So our next number bond is a two and a six. So a two on the left side and a six on the right combined, they give us the whole of eight. Two and six gives us eight. Let's go back to the pairs and do some more counting to see the next number. Well, let's start. We have one, two, and three. Okay, so let me put down the number three. There we go. Now let's see what's remaining. Well, we have one, two, three, four, and five. We have five pairs. So let me put down the number five. So our next number bond is a three and a five. Three on the left side, five on the right side. Three and five gives us a whole of eight. And you see, so far we have four different ways to get to the number eight. Let's keep going. One, two, three, four. We have four. Okay, so let's go down. Let me go down here. Put down the number four. And now how many are remaining? One, two, three, and four. Okay, so our next number is the number four. So our next number bond is a four and a four, which brings us the whole of eight. Four and four gives us the whole of eight. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So far we have five number bonds. Let's keep counting. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so let's put down the number five. So how many more are remaining? Well, let's see how many are left. One, two, and three. We have three pairs left, so that gives us a three. Now you notice on top we had a three and a five. Now we have a five and a three. Three, two different number bonds using the same numbers that gives us the number eight five and three. Let's keep counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we have six. Okay, so I'll put the six. And how many pairs are remaining? Well, let's see. Let's count. One and two. Okay, so we have two. So now we have six and two. On top we had two and six. Two different numbers two different ways of writing the same number that gives us the number eight. Six is on the left side, two is on the right, and it gives us the whole of the number eight. Let's keep counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so now we have seven pairs. So we put the seven, and how many pairs remain? Well, we have one. So let's put the number one. Now our next number bond is a seven on the left side 
and a 1 on the right. And we had a 1 and a 7 in the beginning. So two different ways of writing two same numbers. Both gives us the number 8. Okay, now let's just do our count again and see if there's any left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Eight, num eight pairs, and there is a number there. You just don't see it, but that number is 0. Okay. And you, if you look, our first number was a 0, 8. We can also make an 8 and a 0. Both numbers give us the number 8. So we were able to come up with nine different ways to make the number 8. So now what we want to do is let's look at the different number bonds that we created. Well, the first number bond we started with was with a 0. 0 and 8 gave us the number 8. 1 and 7 gave us the number 8. 2 and 6 gave us the whole of the number 8. 3 and 5 gave us the number 8. 4 and 4 gave us the number 8. So, so far we have five number bonds. Let me bring up another sheet and let's continue counting. 5 and 3 gave us a bond. 6 and 2 gave us a number 8 bond. 7 and 1 gave us a number 8 bond. And 8 and 0. So we came up with nine different number bonds. Now in terms of addition, if you ever have to add to the number eight, well, you learn nine different ways to do it now. We know that zero plus eight equals the number eight. We also learned that one plus seven equals the number eight. Then we learned two plus six equals the number 8, and 3 plus 5 also gives us the number 8. So we're up to four different ways right now to get the number 8. 4 plus 4 equals the number 8, and then 5 plus 3. Because of the commutative properties of addition, 5 plus 3 can equal 8 because 3 plus 5 equaled 8. This is also true for 6 plus 2. 2 plus 6 equaled 8. 6 plus 2 can equal 8. 7 plus 1 can give us 8 the same way 1 plus 7 gave us the number 8 because of the commutative properties of addition. 8 plus 0 equals 8, which is the same as 0 plus 8 equals 8. We also have in the addition facts for the number 8 a double. What a double is, it's when two, the same number adds to itself. So we have 4 adding to 4. 4 plus 4 equals 8. So we now have nine different ways to come up with the number 8.